So, Lyndon Arthur versus Dimitri Bivol, okay? So, it's a, I, I think it's a bloody good fight. Well, it's, I mean, we all know Bivol's going to win, but it's still, you know, he's still, the thing is, it, it's, it's such a good card that I'm so happy with it because I do think it's a bloody good card that we got. You know, when have we seen it? I keep looking, um, I've got it down here because uh, I'm making videos on it, but you know, well, I mean, I don't need to go over it, but you know, we got Parker versus um, Wilder, Walleen versus Joshua, obviously, Bivol versus Arthur, which is this fight. And Dubai versus, uh, Dubois versus Miller. I've made videos on all of them. I'm starting from the top and going down. So, Bivol versus Arthur, okay? So, Arthur, um, let me just show you these clips. So, where are we? So, this is um, Arthur versus Yard, okay? So, Yard is a bloody, really good boxer. I mean, he's... that. So, let me explain something. So, because... I think what it is going into this, there's no point me talking about Bivol because everyone seen Bivol and everyone kind of knows who Bivol is. And um, Arthur is the underdog, obviously. But Arthur's, you know, Arthur's the one here on the uh, on the left in on the right now in the black trunks with the red with the um, with the uh, yellow crosshair sitting right on his crown jewels. Um, yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, so I thought, yeah, I might as well just show you. So this was uh, the Commonwealth title. Now, I can't remember exactly when the bout was. Um, let me get it up. So Lyndon Arthur is 32 years old. He's got a, a he's 6.2, so six, six feet two inches. I don't know why I'm making a deal out of that. Uh, well, obviously, we want to know his height. Yeah, he's six foot two. Um so these fights, so the first fight, I've got the second fight coming up as well. So the first fight was in 2020 and then the second one was 2021, okay? So this fight in 2020, he won the Commonwealth. Um, I've got a feeling it was vacant and they both fought for it. I can't I can't remember actually. But this fight, um, Arthur completely, not dominated him, but he, he out... He out jabbed him. Basically, everyone agreed. The commentators agreed that he jab just won the fight. Um, it was you know just ridiculously good jab. And if you uh, don't get me wrong, he, he throws other stuff, but his jab won the fight. And um, and yeah, so I think going into this, you know, his jab. I mean, he he can he can knock guys out, um, Arthur. He can certainly knock guys out. His record shows shows that he's got. So he's got 23 uh, KOs, uh, 23 wins and one loss. Now, this is the one loss against, um, oh, just bloody forget his name, against Yard. Um, this is his one loss, okay? So this was the second fight in 2021 or whenever I said. And um, if you notice in this, Yard didn't play Arthur's game. And I think this is the reality of it. Arthur is very good. So going into the Bivol fight, it would be nice for you to know that Arthur is very good if the fight is at his own pace, okay? He's he's uh, he's a tremendous puncher. He's a concussive puncher. He's got those horrible punches. He has got a longer reach. He's got two, in two inches longer on Bivol. So that's another important note. But this is the thing. If... Arthur can fight at his own pace. See, this is kind of his own pace here. Um, he's very, very, he's very good. He's quite a good counter puncher, but he's very good at fainting. If anything, he one of his main assets from what I've seen of him is that he's fainting. He's just, he's very jerky and very off-putting. And from what I can gather is that this is why he wins because you know, obviously he's got boxing skills, but if you watch him now, look, everything's jerky. I mean, that was a beautiful, beautiful counter. Um, I've got a feeling he does another one in a minute, a pull counter. But yeah, he's very, very jerky and very, it, it creates a sense of uh, unpredict un unpredictability, if that's the word. Um, he's, I think this is a beautiful punch. Watch this. Pop. That is a lovely punch. Um, yeah, so he's unpredict. He creates a sense of unpredictable. He 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 seems like he's a bit jer like. Look at him now. It's all just jerky. The hand, and he's like this pretty much all the time. 
But obviously, Yard on the first fight lost. So Yard come in here with the attitude. I believe he said that his attitude was that he's just going to kill the guy. Um, and they said in the commentary, I can't play the commentary because the video gets uh, pulled up. But they said in the commentary that um, Yard fought every round like it was t round 12. And he was losing, basically. He he was he just wasn't having none of it. And if you watch it, obviously, he's he's not playing into this jerky movement. It, it's it's a little bit, but um but he just he just says no, not today, you know. And I think that's the problem with um with Arthur, Lyndon Arthur. I think if you can I think this is the knockout. I mean he's certainly over he's just dominating him now and he looks yeah, I think this is it. This is it. He goes down. I don't think it's a, a really heavy knockout, though. Um, but yeah, he, he's... I'm sure that, yeah, this is it. Yeah. He's going down. Let's just watch it. Yeah, so it wasn't like a mega, mega knock knockdown, but he never gets back up. Um, I don't think it shows heart. I don't think anything like that. I, I, you know, I think he just, I think he could see he was out being bot, uh, out being out boxed, and uh, I think he just ultimately just thought, you know what, um, not not bloody worth it. So yeah, that was his only loss. He come back and um, he fought. He he's had wins since, so he come back and he fought after he's lost to Yard. He's had four fights. So he had two last year and two this year. So this be his third. So he's active. Um, so yeah, I think you know, I think Bivol really is is just going to be too too um, too clever for him. I don't think Bivol's going to fall for his jerkiness. I think Bivol will see through it. To be honest, he's too um, yeah, you know. Well, as you know, Bivol, he's too he's too clever. He's too smart, isn't he? He's he's so. Um, He's almost calm. His approach is is quite off putting because I, you know, you can't. I know the thing is with Mike Tyson, you knew what you was getting. Okay, you knew what you were signing up for. With Bivol, he, he just takes you apart. Um, and I'm sure I remember watching a fight where the commentator said, "I mean, he could knock him out." Basically, the commentator said he could knock him out, but he'd rather just take him to twelve rounds. <laughs> like, like it's almost like he just enjoys. A cat, like a cat with its prey, he just enjoys breaking you down slowly, and that's what I mean by you know you. He's a, he's an awful fighter to fight. I could imagine because you feel like you might just get it up on him, and then he steps it up a gear. He's one of them. Um, like I say, where at least with Mike Tyson, you knew you was going down within. You was either going down in the first minute or the second minute with him, and uh, you had option A or B when he was in his prime. But yeah, it's um yeah. So hopefully, you know, who do I want to win? I I, I think um I think I think you know yeah. To be honest, I I probably would like Bivol to win just because I think he's he's at that point where he should be winning anyway um and I think he's not I don't think um Arthur's the caliber of fighter that he should be fighting at the minute but I don't mean that horribly because I actually really like Arthur I like his style he, he puts his hands down sometimes and he's got um tremendous right honestly go and watch some top tens of him he's got he's got some tremendous power really has um so yeah, and I like you know I like him, and I think you know I'd love to see it because obviously it's a big upset, but um, I just don't think it's going to happen. I I can't see it happening. I uh, you know, and uh, I don't. That's what you know. Last point. I don't mean any disrespect to Arthur. I think Arthur's a tremendous fighter. He's Commonwealth. He's not the Commonwealth title holder now, but he was. He's from Great Britain. He's uh he's Manchester, so he's a Mank, um, and I'm a Southern fairy, and um. Yeah, so you know, I support him and stuff, and uh, but and that's the last point. So um, Arthur, I'll just say this: Arthur, um, he is he is uh, ranked top ten in the IBF, I believe. He's like ranked nine or something, and I can't remember the other one, but I'm sure he's in it. He definitely in the IBF. He's ranked in the top ten and another one. So he's not, you know, he's not. He's a very very good fighter. Um, he's just not a massive massive name, if you know what I mean. Um, 
obviously fight fans will know of him, but some people, you know, I, I like to try and make this content. So people, the way I see it is when I see undercards, um, I like to learn about the fighter a little bit and, you know, I try and offer just a bit of an opinion. And if you're coming into it and you never heard of Arthur, at least now you've got some sort of thing that you can relate to. Do you know what I mean? So he's 32, so he's still in his um, prime prime years, you know, later prime years, but he's still he's still active. You know, he's to be a third fight this year. And there's no reason why he couldn't beat Bivol. Um, he's certainly got the knockout power. Um certainly got the attitude he, and uh, the last point I say well, I've said the last point like five times he seems like a really nice guy as well um in that last fight that you see they had uh, no in the first one yard versus um versus Arthur they had um a, a meet a press conference with both of them after um so they were both standing next to each other not sitting at a desk just standing there still in their boxing gear and Yard uh, really had the ump, said that he won the fight. And um, and Arthur was like, yeah, like it was a very close fight. He didn't even pump himself up and was like, no, nah, man, you lost that. He just said, yeah, no, it was it was a very close fight. I do think he's got a good point, which was really refreshing. Um, so, you know, he, he won me over a little bit there, Lyndon Arthur. And, 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 and the last, last point is he took this fight within three days, you know, three or four days with foot. Uh, before the press conference, before the thing. So he, he has really put himself on the line here. Now, obviously, it's a world title shot for him. So why wouldn't he? Um, but yeah, what a bloke. What a guy. So let's all root for him anyway. Um, but we all know that probably Bivol will win. But, you know, there's no harm in rooting for the underdog. I always root for the underdog. And I'll certainly be cheering him on. And um, good luck to him. I really hope he does well. <laughs>